Today we're going to talk about five worldviews that will shatter your reality. So these are five topics that you may not even agree with or you may have never heard of before, but when people do look into them, it shatters their whole reality. They start questioning everything around them. Everything is questionable because of this one worldview that they see opening their eyes. Now you may have even seen multiple of these worldviews that I'm gonna to present to you here today, but these are just some examples, and I'm sure you can list others, but these are some that I really notice as really big impactful factors for people. And if you have other ideas, please feel free to share with me in the comment section below. So the first worldview that can possibly shatter your reality, believe it or not, and whether people want to accept it or not, that goes for all of these, is flat earth. Flat Earth is one of those topics that if you do look into it and you perhaps agree with some of it or you agree with some of the proponents of it and you realize that they're onto something, that maybe NASA is lying, maybe the Earth isn't flat but they're right about certain other things or maybe you know they're talking about these systems that have existed forever and NASA is suppressing it and who knows, all the money that's going different places, you might find some agreements to be found within the disagreements. I made a video about that in particular. And you'll find out that Flat Earth actually has tons of people that follow it, a movement all around the world. And this is not me supporting it necessarily, but me to say, hey, maybe you gotta check it out. Because when people look at this and they start to break it down, they're like, oh my gosh, we've been lied to. That type of mindset breaks open the barriers to everything else. To say, whoa, our whole worldview perception is completely destroyed, right? It's the same thing with another topic, which is not on this list, which is understanding the common law jurisdiction, which is that flag I have on the top of that fridge, but that thing could shatter your worldview too when you realize the nature of corporations and how we got into this system and the influencing uh, factors and who's in control, and you realize that everything basically that we do in a day-to-day -day life, from our licenses to our driver's plates, all that is basically uh, illegitimate, even the American flag. So these two topics right off the bat are really big for people, and that will get them into other topics. For example, Flat Earth might maybe turn someone into a religionist or a religionist into a Flat Earther, either way. It may not always be a good thing, of course, to fall into religion, as I have a video about deism, which a lot of people also don't know about, which could be another big topic that explodes things in the near future. I don't see it as a big topic right now, but feel free to check it out. But Flat Earth will also lead people to understand, wait, the government lies too. You know, it's not just uh, people that are politicians, but all sorts of different factors of government. And then they start looking into health and they may start looking into the orderly processes of nature because they're looking at uh, the, the stars and the planets and as such, and they become more observatory, so they're starting to look around them more. Those subtle things that matter quite a bit that you previously weren't questioning but are questioning now, so it makes a big difference. The next topic I want to go over is raw meat. Now, this is very controversial for a lot of people too. They say, whoa, whoa, isn't that going to cause a bunch of disease? you got harmful bacteria and parasites and all this stuff. Well, a lot of researchers have actually disputed this. You have people like Agnes von der Planets and the Primal Diet, and there's people online who are doing carnivore challenges with just raw meat, and they're doing it in front of stores, they're doing it in front of restaurants, and they're doing it for certain days of time. Uh, there's people who butcher the animals themselves, they feed it to their animals, right? They're doing videos of eating in front of vegan protests, I mean, all sorts of things. And that is all actually quite growing in the world, is this understanding of raw meat. And people who suffered from crazy acne to all sorts of other health problems found that their problems were actually relieved when they went to raw meat because it's the most nutrient-dense food that you can get your hands on. They start looking into organs, their mind starts working better, so they're able to also, again, question everything and observe everything a bit more. They also realize that, again, common theme, they've been lied to in their health uh, by FDA, by all the diet industries trying to attack them, and realizing that, wait, maybe raw meat is our natural human diet. This is one of the claims that is made. 
and to say that, well, what if we're just detached from nature as well? And then it gets them into that, which of course my message is nature is the answer, so that may apply as well. Right, so this is this is a big topic that if you get people into and they start understanding raw meat, they may be open to everything else from there because they've been told one thing their entire life: the Earth is a sphere, don't eat raw meat, it's going to hurt you, or it's just laughable and and you know <laughs> doesn't make any sense. And they realize that actually it works based on their own observations or based on their own experiences in both of these cases. Now. Um, that doesn't mean, again, that I'm validating these truths or saying that they are truths or that you need to look into them or that you're going to agree with them. Like I said, these are just worldviews that basically shatter people's reality. And if you're open to them, to say the least, they can perhaps provide more perspective on this reality, even if you don't partake in them. So natural law is another one uh, worldview, which I talk about a lot on my channel. So if you're interested in natural law, you can always check out my videos. Natural law, it says that basically there's governing conditions to our actions um, and that we can understand morality through such and therefore we can evaluate every single action in this life. That makes you question every single action and to say, well, what is actually being caused here? What is the effect? Now this matters in the case of order and chaos because if the world goes crazy and people want to know why, they may associate and say, well, maybe it's because we just don't understand natural law. We're, we're disaligned with it. Um, you know, we're unharmonized with it. Another word, for it and you can say well perhaps we lack ownership because we're allowing theft here we're allowing theft there we lack the understanding of property we lack the understanding of consent and voluntarism these ideas are all interconnected perhaps we don't realize that other people do not have a moral authority over us so why are we voting them into office why do we say this president gets the the right to rule what is this thing called this right to rule like in slavery who had the right to enslave did the slave master have more rights than the than the people that they owned and what makes this plantation better than another just because this master whips their slaves less than the other you know that's kind of like libertarianism into saying that well this is less harm but still there's harm being done so if it's wrong it's still wrong no matter what natural law gets very definitive as to what is wrong and what is right and what you should do versus not do so therefore you're seeing the whole world as a whole new world of what could we do? Uh, what? How could we do it better based on our knowledge of the consequences of actions? So it's a very holistic worldview that may encompass a lot of the other subjects that I mentioned as well. And it basically shatters a lot of people's worldviews. A lot of people who are also spiritually inclined may go toward this route as well, since we're looking at laws that aren't as provable as physical laws such as gravity, although they deal with physical effects such as that of chaos or order manifesting in the world. And people have the question, why does democide occur? Why does tyranny happen? And natural law always comes down to say, well, this is the route to our freedoms. If we understand morality, we, we can understand freedom. We can gain our freedom. We can defend our freedom. And we know that it belongs with us because we have the right to it. And that's how we define rights. All these topics interconnected. Now, a last worldview that will shatter your reality is quantum grammar. Quantum grammar is a topic that a lot of people have spoke of and is also growing in communities in different spaces around the world. Um, and it's one that can seem rather confusing at first for good reason. But if you look at the people who promoted it, I'd say they're quite inspiring individuals, or at least they had a lot of knowledge that a lot of people did not, or knowledge that at least desire, uh, that deserves to be questioned. Um, because the people who do look into this, well, they start to see everything as different because they're looking at language. They're looking at grammar. And therefore, they see words everywhere and they're like, well, that's not true. That's not a contract. I don't know if that's actually binding upon me. They start questioning everything about the sort. They may say, well, you know, this flag is not properly from this nation, and this constitution isn't binding, and this is uh, coming from the White House, it's coming from the government, and it's saying that they control you, and they can say whatever they want to say about you, and that actually means nothing, and you don't have to pay your taxes, you don't have to do this. They will uh, understand all these different subjects related to the tyranny that we're in based on grammar, which is a whole different 
per se science, as they may say, uh, of mathematics uh, in language. And so it's another whole subject to get into, and it's hard for me to sum it up with words, just like natural law, just like raw meat and flat earth, because these are huge worldviews that essentially encompass a lot to deal with. And not to mention, but the individuals who often talk about these worldviews often talk about so many other subjects as well, so it just naturally ventures people off into so many different ways of thinking. Now you may say, well, the people that promote these worldviews are doing it for money. Well, if that was the case, uh, so be it. They're making a huge influence, right? Because the influence and the ideas is what matters. You may say, oh, well, maybe they're counter opposition. They're doing this for a reason. I can't say if they are or not, but at the least, at least they provide a different perspective. And if they're helping people in some way, which they are, if they're questioning the world around us and getting people to think different about what's going on so that we can find different solutions and uh, not just be so narrow-minded on certain ways of thinking, then uh, I think it's generally beneficial that we have these different worldviews, even if you don't agree with all of them. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that. And you may say, well, there's other worldviews I want to mention, like, you know, I mentioned the common law jurisdiction. There's weaker ones, like veganism, right? Uh, which some people may think, well, if you become plant-based, it's going to change everything. But there's many vegans who, you know, don't always talk about freedom and talking about uh, bodily autonomy when it comes to the state. Uh, versus when it comes to their health. And you may say natural medicine, which is basically of the same sort. Well, even though it's applied in health, a lot of doctors that deal with natural medicine or a lot of uh, naturopathic physicians, although they are reasonably minded and may want freedom when it comes to health, they may not connect it politically per se and may not question everything in reality um, as much. And they still may even ignore the whole idea of raw meat as well. But politics is the same thing. You can't say politics is what shatters people's realities. It doesn't matter if you're right or left or libertarian, because none of those things actually question the fabric of our reality, of morality, of actions, of consequences, of the spiritual concepts that have been taught, the philosophies that have been taught, essentially. Um, and you know, getting even deeper is to say, well, who controls all of this? Where is the money actually going? And um, you know, what religions have contributed to politics since, you know, we see the foundation of government living in this divine right to rule. You know, do we question that whole notion of rights? How much do we go? Uh, do we accept people having their own worldviews and saying, I want to run for office when it's not a universal, timeless idea? and it's not grounded on philosophy or logic of the sort. Um, you know, so p politics doesn't really lead people anywhere, perhaps uh, to the ballot, that's pretty much it. To say, I'm gonna cast my vote and my work here is done, it doesn't really get people thinking as much about the world or to say, hey, I'm the one to change it and I've been lied to, so I need to inform other people, I need to teach other people. You know, my emphasis in a lot of my works is how do we teach people? How do we get knowledge out there? Not how do we follow things? How do we just be vegan, go on a diet, take this medicine, I'll be fine, or vote for this politician and everything will be good? Life is just not that simple. When we talk about flat earth and raw meat, these things require explanation and they require work and say, well, raw meat, that's off putting and trying that and the texture is so weird. You got to get used to that. Natural law is a topic that is huge and a lot of people dispute different aspects of it when it comes to um, morality. If they're super philosophical, some people will say it's common sense, so it doesn't really matter, you know, and quantum grammar. Oh, it's too complicated. Natural law. Oh, it's too complicated. You know, raw meat, too complicated. I don't want to do it too much work. I want to just eat whatever I want. Flat earth, eh, it's easier to go with the science, just go with the flow. I'm not asking for you to take a position on this matter. I want you to see that why not expand to the possibilities? The people that are in these communities, I know a lot of them, and they're not bad people. They simply question reality. They all share the common theme that they've been lied to, and they want to fix it. So they come up with different ideas and different solutions, and that is fantastic. That's what we should be doing. Because we, if somebody isn't doing it, then who will? And some of these perspectives may be really helpful. Like someone might say, well, what if you look into survival? Maybe survival is the worldview that breaks everything. You understand how to live off the grid and how to do all this stuff. You say, okay, well, that's, that's pretty reasonable. But how much does it lead people toward action and toward understanding the world around them necessarily? You can go into all uh, sorts of things like that. 
And I just think those five worldviews that I mentioned are particularly powerful because they're unique. Um, and they're at least ones that a lot of people are unaware of uh, when they're in the politics, when they're into medicine, when they're into diets, or even when they're into independent media. You know, and they may disregard these things at first, but this sometimes is even deeper than what reaches the surface, even on the alternative platforms. So that's why I figured to share it with you guys. I hope you found it valuable or at least insightful. Thank you very much for watching. This is Corey Edmund Angelot, Nature is the Answer. Learn more about modern slavery in my book, Slavery Gone for Good. My name is Corey Angelot. I want you to reclaim your freedom by knowing what slavery is, so we can end slavery once and for all.